going to talk about 100 Dharma Shastra by Bodhisattva Vasubandhu. Everything in the world is categorized into 100 dharmas. We are going to have an overview of this 100 dharmas. It will help us realize the meaning of all dharmas have no self. The 100 dharmas is categorized into 94 conditioned dharmas and 6 unconditioned dharmas. Conditioned dharma means everything is from cause and effect is because of karma rising and ceasing due to causing conditions everything rises for this reason because they are conditioned they are empty in nature we want to realize the unconditioned dharma which is our true nature nirvana the buddha nature it's not due to cause and conditions therefore is the real emptiness that's our goal of cultivation, to reach this unconditioned state. But how do you find the unconditioned state? You find it in the conditioned states. From this conditioned life, we want to find the unconditioned enlightenment. Let's look at this 100 dharmas. Conditioned dharmas consists of four categories. The first one is the A, my dharmas which are the eight consciousnesses. Our eye consciousness, ear consciousness, nose, tongue, body, the thinking mind consciousness, manas, takes the alaya consciousness as the self and tells the mind how to think. And we have the alaya consciousness, that's the entire storehouse that stores all our karmic seeds. That's how karma comes into reality, the physical world. Eight my dharmas, that's the basis of all dharmas. There was a master from Korea in the Qing Dynasty. He traveled to China. One night he was very tired, very thirsty. He was looking for water. Finally, he found a little stream of water. He drank the water and thought how refreshing it was. He found a little place to sleep in for that night. When he woke up in the morning, he wanted to go back to the stream and have some more water. When he went back, he saw it's full of animal carcass. After seeing that, he wanted to throw up. As he was throwing up, he came into full realization. It's all made from my mind. Last night, I thought it was the most delicious water. But because of my eye consciousness and my mind consciousness, now the water is totally different to me. It's all because of our perception. Nothing happens except what's happening in our mind. If you can use your mind, understand the emptiness of it all, you will come into full enlightenment. Then we have the 51 dharmas belonging to the mind. These are the servants to the kings. The kings cannot have thoughts unless they have the servants. So we have 51 different types of mental factors made up of our thoughts. The 51 are in six categories. The first one, five universally interactive mental factors. Attention, contact, feelings, perception, deliberation. Every thought go through these five mental factors. Our eyes want to see that attention, then the eyes will come in contact with sight. Your eyes will take a look at something. You will see form, color, and its movement. Because of this contact, we develop the eye consciousness. It distinguishes what color we see. Do we like it? Do we not like it? Then we have wholesome and unwholesome thoughts. So every thought goes through contact and then we have feeling, pleasure or pain. Then we have perception, deliberation. It's when we want to take action based on our perception. So every thought goes through these five universally interactive mental factors. Then we have five particular states. They don't happen all the time. They only happen in particular states. 
intention, resolution, mindfulness, concentration, and wisdom. These only happen in certain situations. Then we have 11 wholesome thoughts, good thoughts, including faith, diligence, non-greed, non-anger, non-ignorance. We should have a faithful mind that everything is made from the mind and all dharmas have no self. Buddha keep telling us it's all condition arising and there is no self. Why do we keep thinking the self is the center of everything? Because we don't really have faith in what the dharma is teaching us. So we need to really have faith in the teaching and in our own Buddha nature. Our mind is the Buddha. We just need to see beyond the deluded mind. Then the mind is the enlightened mind. We have six primary unwholesome thoughts. Greed, anger, ignorance, arrogance, doubt, and wrong view. These are basic fundamental afflictions. Comes with the 20 secondary unwholesome mental factors. Hatred, vengeance, vexation, so they're deeper anger. Then we have four unfixed mental factors. They can be wholesome, they can be unwholesome. Sleep can be wholesome or unwholesome. If we sleep so we can get up and meditate and work hard, then that's wholesome. If we sleep because we are lazy, then that's unwholesome. So it's an unfixed mental factor. These makes up of 51 dharmas belonging to the mind. They are the mental factors that consist of our thoughts. We need to work with our thoughts and work with our dharmas belonging to the mind. That's how we can change our destiny and change our mental formation. Then we have 11 form dharmas. This is mental, this is physical. There are 11 physical dharmas. There are five sense organs, eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and body. Then we have the six sense objects, eyes, sees sight, ears with sound, nose, smells, tongue, taste, body, touch, and the mind with dharma. These are our physical world. They are also made by the mind and there is no self. Mental, physical, all created by the mind, all illusory, all conditioned dharma, all unreal. Also, there's 24 dharmas not interactive with the mind. So they are not mental, they are not physical, they are not interactive, they are made up concepts. So they are even more fake than the first three. There are 24 of them. I only listed four. One is birth. We have this concept of things come into being, such as our lives. Or I put my palms together, there's a slit in the middle. This is cause and conditions. When I separate them, there is no slit. Do you think that's real? That's only temporary and it's conditioned dharma. So there's no real birth and there's no aging. Our hair become gray and we walk slowly. These are just conditions because of our karma stored in the Laya consciousness. The time comes and we have aging, but it's not a real existence. And time is relative. There's 365 days in a year. But that's just human-made concept. Only happen in this earth. So time is unreal. Direction, south, north, east, west, they are just human-made concept. And depending on where you are, direction applies differently. Different condition, different cause, you have different directions. They are all relative, they are all impermanent. There's not a self in any of these. A plus 51, plus 11, plus 24, so 94 conditioned dharmas in this world. None of it is me. All dharmas have no self. 
Then we have the six unconditioned dharma. I only listed one, which is the most important, our true suchness, our Buddha nature, or we can call it nirvana. This is something without a form. It's not from cause and conditions. It, there's no rising or ceasing. That's just our pure enlightenment, our original self. How do we find the self? Basically, you have to see all this is fake. Your thoughts, your physical being, and all the concepts of the world, they are human-made concepts made by your deluded mind. They are only other dependent nature and do not give rise to the fully conceptualized nature. Then it is the fully accomplished nature. That's our true suchness. If you can realize how the conditioned life right now is fictional, then you will come into realization to the unconditioned Dharma. The eight mind Dharma is called supreme because the mind creates everything. We need to use our mind to think of good thoughts. The master Fo Ying and famous poet Su Dong Po, they were best friends but they liked to bicker with each other. One time they were both meditating. Su Dong Po asked Fo Ying Master, what do you see me as? Fo Ying Master said, oh, I see a Buddha. Then the master asked him, what do you see in me? He said, I see a pile of dung. He thought he won. So he went home. His sister asked him, why are you so happy, my brother? He said, I won today. So he told her what happened. She said, he sees in you a mundane person as a Buddha, but you see him an uh, enlightened master as a pile of species. You really lose big time. If we use our mind to think of good thoughts, we create a beautiful world. If our mind is full of negativities, we create hell for ourselves. That's why it's most supreme. The 51 dharmas belonging to the mind that interact with the first. The 51 dharmas must interact with the eight mind dharma. Then the 11 form dharmas, they are shadows manifested by the previous two. Forms are shadows created by the mind dharmas and the mental factors. All the physical world, they are just shadows manifested by the mind. The 24 dharmas not interactive with the mind, they are separated from the position of the previous three. They are not the a mind dharma, they are not the mental factors, they are not the physical form, they are separate from the position of the first three. That's why it's called non-interactive with the mind. Lastly, the unconditioned dharmas, they are revealed by the previous four. The unconditioned dharma, they are revealed by all the conditioned dharmas, which are the first four categories. So as you can see, they are all related. They are all non-self. They are all created by the mind and they are all non-existent. If we can realize that, then that's enlightenment. That's the class for today. Thank you for listening. Amitabha.